I've been working in SAP since last 15 years and last seven years I've been working as a SAP EWM consultant. The idea for creating this course came to me when I was implementing my last EWM project in S4 HANA 1809 system. As you all know, SAP has now changed the way SAP projects are implemented. We are now going with Activate methodology. We start with the best practice model company processes and we try to map the business processes with this pre built model company business scenarios that SAP has provided us in S4 HANA systems. These model company business scenarios or best practices processes SAP have been providing us right from earlier days but now with S4 HANA implementation the role of best practice model company processes have increased to a greater extent. In this course uh, we will be going through all the model company best practice processes provided by SAP in embedded EWM 1909. We will be testing the best practice processes for a manufacturing company based out of US. We are going to set up a new plant, a new warehouse and for our new plant and new warehouse we will be executing all end-to-end -end best practice processes of SAP EWM in S4HANA 1909. While testing the processes for a new plant and new warehouse, we will have to maintain all the cutover activities or the settings required for a new warehouse so that the best practices processes are carried out. We also have to extend or maintain the master data so that we are able to leverage the best practice master data provided by SAP for the model company plant and warehouse. So with understanding this model company best practice processes, what are the benefits we are going to get? In an implementation project, we start with executing the model company processes in the model company plant company code provided by SAP. Then we create a plant warehouse company code for the organization where we are implementing s for hana this stage we are expected to execute all these model company best practice processes so we need to know what are the settings required what are the configurations what are the master data required and how those configuration master data will help us to execute the same model company processes into a new warehouse so we have limited time during implementation so this course will help you to execute model company or best practice process in your own new plant and new warehouse that you are implementing for a company. This course is also going to help you to understand the standard functionalities for the SAP. For example, you do not have a scrapping process in your company, but you would like to have a quick glance on how the scrapping process is executed in the best practice model company warehouse. This course will give you that advantage to have a quick overview on the execution of model company best practice processes. While testing, you may encounter errors, issues. So while going through this course, you will get an idea of what is the expected output of a particular process and then you can go back and fix your master data or setting to run your processes. So this course will give you understanding of all the standard functionalities offered by SAP. With this course, you will come to know what are the processes and how they are executed in S4HANA. So you will be in a better position to discuss with your client what are the offerings by SAP and you will be quickly able to make a decision on the caps during the requirement gathering workshops. These model company best practice processes are provided by SAP considering the common processes that are shared by our large companies in a particular area. So which will give you an understanding of common warehouse processes which are implemented by large companies in warehousing. We'll deep dive into the subject and through an easy comprehensive way, we'll try to understand how to apply the scenarios in today's workplace. Also, we'll be executing all the EWM processes using Fury, which is the new user interface provided by SAP in S4 HANA. We will be starting first going through the process flow diagrams for each process. We'll understand how the process is executed, what is the expected outcome of that process and then we will execute each process step by step into the system. We will also visualize using our warehouse layout how the movements are carried out and how those movements would be carried out by various kind of resources physically in the warehouse. Course preview components. So our aim is to design, execute warehouse processes, simple, complex in S4HANA 1909 system. We will understand the core concept of 
processes in supply chain management this course will be very useful for you if you are trying to understand implementation of sap ewm module so every ewm implementation will first start with these best practice model company processes and we will be molding them modifying them enhancing them based on how the processes are executed by the client in their warehouses and we'll execute all 13 model company processes provided by sap in s4 hana so course preview students so this course is applicable for you if you are working as a software analyst business analyst consultant or if you are a business user related to warehouse management this course is also applicable for you if you are already a sap user or sap consultant and who want to extend your knowledge from existing functional modules like materials management warehouse management sales and distribution production planning logistic execution into extended warehouse management this course is also applicable for anyone who wants to learn ewm or anyone who wants to explore how ewm processes are executed in s4 hana 1909 this course is also applicable for anyone who is already working in ewm and would like to have an understanding of how ewm processes are carried out in s4 hana 1909 so let's get started and explore sap embedded extended warehouse management in s4 hana 1909 thank you